Before you begin, unplug the refrigerator from its electrical outlet and make sure there are no food items that could fall out during the procedure. Begin with removing the top hinge and lifting the freezer door to remove. Do not place the door face down or against any surface that could scratch or damage the door. Now, remove the two case screws and reinstall in the vacated holes at the original hinge location. With the freezer door removed and safely placed, remove the handle as shown. After removing the two top handle screws, gently slide the handle upward and pull to release it from the door. Remove the handle fastener on the face of the door from the original location and reinstall in the same hole location on the opposite side of the door. Reinstall the handle by positioning the recently installed fastener into the handle bracket. With a slight downward motion, slide the handle until it is firmly seated to the top of the door and the holes align. Next, install the two top screws to secure the handle into position. Do not over tighten the screws or you may damage or break the handle. Next, remove the door stop on the bottom of the door and reinstall on the opposite side. Remove the center hinge pin. Make sure you do not lose or misplace the washer. The lack of the washer could lead to improper door alignment and seal. Lift the fresh food door to remove. Remember, do not place the door face down or against any surface that could scratch or damage the door. Remove the three hinge screws to release the center hinge. Next, relocate the three screws from the opposite side of the case and reinstall into the empty holes from the original hinge location. Install the center hinge to the new location by securing the three hinge screws. You will need to rotate the hinge to align it with the screw holes in the new location. Remove the screw located on the bottom area of the case flange. Next, remove the bottom hinge from the case. Once removed, transfer the hinge pin to the outer opening in the hinge and check washer placement on the hinge pin. The hinge pin will always be seated to the outer edge of the door. With the hinge pin placed incorrectly in the inner opening, it will prevent the door from shutting properly. Install the hinge into the new location by aligning the hinge and case holes. Secure by seating the three hinge screws. Make sure to seat in the correct holes as shown. Install the case screw previously removed into the vacated hole at the original hinge location. Next, remove the door stop on the bottom of the fresh food door and reinstall on the opposite side. To help maintain proper door and gasket seal, rotate each door gasket to keep the original hinge side corners located at the new hinge side. Reseat the gasket by starting with each corner and work the gasket toward the center until it is completely seated. Remove the two top handle screws. Gently slide the handle upward to release it from the fastener. Remove and relocate the handle fastener to the adjacent location on the opposite side of the door. Reseat the handle by positioning the handle over the fastener and gently slide the handle downward to firmly seat into position. Now secure it by installing the two top screws. By tilting the door slightly forward, position the door onto the bottom hinge and slide it down until it rests securely in place. With the fresh food door held closed into place, Reinstall the center hinge pin. Seat and secure the pin as shown. Remove and relocate the plug button on top of the door to the opposite side. To install the freezer door, first position the top hinge to align the hinge and case holes. Seat the two screws halfway. Do not completely tighten as you will need some clearance to position and seat the door. Tilting the door slightly forward, place the door onto the center hinge pin. Holding the door in place, position and seat the top hinge into the top of the door and completely tighten the two top screws. It is important to maintain proper door alignment while securing the top hinge. This can be accomplished by holding up on the handle side of the door. Make sure you have the same gap or clearance between the freezer and fresh food door all the way across. To finish the door reversal, reinstall the plug into its new position.